Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. This is RJ Cop BH. So we're gonna visit Niagara Falls. So Niagara Falls is located in New York State in USA. So kana naglakolako na midiha. So makita ni mo ang sites sa Canada at the part. Then Maisha and Niagara Love State Park. So park nisha. So this is approaching for the Niagara Falls, USA site. So grabby can even do on Yang Falls. Hi guys, we're here in Niagara Falls, here in USA site. So let's see the Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls here in USA side. That's the Canada side. Skyland Tower. Niagara Falls State Park is the oldest state park in the U.S. established in 1885 as the Niagara Reservation. It was the first of several such reservations that eventually became the cornerstones to the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation. 3,160 tons of water flows over Niagara Falls every second. This accounts for 75,750 gallons of water per second over the American and Bridal Veil Falls and 681,750 gallons per second over the Horseshoe Falls. Niagara Falls is capable of producing over 4 million kilowatts of electricity, which is shared by the United States and Canada. The Niagara Falls fireworks displays can be viewed from many beautiful vantage points with the Niagara Falls outdoor spaces in Niagara Parks. High above at the Skylon Tower and Niagara Skywheel, in indoors at the many hotels and restaurants with views of the falls. For the summer fireworks series, the fireworks display begins at 10 o'clock p.m. For the Winter Festival of Lights fireworks series, the fireworks begin at 8 o'clock p.m. Niagara Falls is illuminated nightly from the Illuminations Tower in Niagara Falls, Canada. These lights work to create a breathtaking view not to be missed, and are illuminated every night of the year beginning at dusk. Throughout the year, Niagara Falls is illuminated for holidays and significant occasions. Bring your borders to uh, US and Canada now. Mm. Rainbow Bridge! Borders to US and Canada. Number three, go to elevator three. Guys, claiming. Uh, Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Bridge. This is the Canada side. 
da 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 The Maid of the Mist is the one and only tour boat fleet whose captains have safely navigated the mighty waters of the Niagara Gorge for over 100 years. This iconic boat ride operates only on the U.S. side of the falls and has officially launched a new all-electric, emission-free passenger vessels. A favorite Niagara Falls State Park attraction for more than 150 years, the Maid of the Mist journey begins at the Observation Tower, where guests are given a souvenir rain poncho to wear and board the double-deck Maid of the Mist tour boat. From there, the boat ferries past the base of the American Falls, and onto the Basin of Horseshoe Falls the dramatic passage leading you through the roiling waterfall whitewater and massive rock formations. The iconic Maid of the Mist is every bit exciting as you could possibly imagine. Water rushes all around as you soak in the excitement and explore the roar of the falls. A historical ride aboard the world-famous Maid of the Mist is a half-hour thrill of a lifetime. North America's oldest tourist attraction, millions of visitors have enjoyed the boat tours since 1846. Maid of the Mist boats will take you from the docks past the base of the American Falls, then into the basin of the magnificent Canadian Horseshoe Falls. This was an incredible experience. Wear shoes you are okay with getting soaked. This is a 15-20 boat ride that takes you right up to all the falls. They really pack people onto these boats. People push and shove to get good photos. So be warned, they provide rain ponchos. It is literally breathtaking because as you get really close to the falls, it's hard to breathe for a minute with the air and water rushing as you definitely should do at least once if you're visiting the falls. Fun experience. It's definitely something you should do at least once in your life. You're going to get wet, do yourself a favor, and wear a rain jacket under the free poncho, wear water shoes or flip flops. Can I decide anything now? Just a cat in the Uh, we're at the Royal Pool State Park. We're at the Royal State Park. Look at the other one. I'm going to go to the rest of the room. I'm going to go to the rest of the room. I'm 
Kaya mura mo siya na tuyo kang tubig kaman, kaya kang nasi tubig na patungin nyo rin mo. Huwag po ipunan ng world pool. Isa yung palakpon sa badong dito? Hi well, guys, I'm here in Niagara Falls in the US side and this is the Canada side so explore 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 let's go to the Horseshoe Falls walking down to the Horseshoe Falls See the whole show falls. It's the whole show falls. Horseshoe Falls is the largest of the three waterfalls that collectively form Niagara Falls on the Niagara River along the Canada-United States border. Approximately 90% of the Niagara River, after diversions for hydropower generation, flows over Horseshoe Falls. Or this way, in reality, toward Lake Ontario, which is out this way. It flows north, or actually, yeah, this is north, and then over the falls, either the American, the Bridal Veil, or the Horseshoe. Sometimes they call it the Canadian Horseshoe Falls because 90% of the water belongs to Canada. We got the American and Bridal Veil Falls. Uh, this is Goat Island, where we are currently. Separating the American and Bridal Veil Falls is a little island called Luna. Luna Island. Sometimes at night, the moonlight and the mist combine to form what's known as a lunar bow or a nighttime rainbow. Mm -hmm. I've been out here for years. I've never seen one. <laughs> but anyway, so the water flows over the falls, enters the gorge, goes down this way toward Lake Ontario. This is where it makes a 45 degree turn at the Whirlpool. We saw that earlier. And then again, on its way to Lake Ontario. Now, if you leave Niagara Falls not knowing anything else, please know that the waterfalls have absolutely nothing to do with making hydropower. Nothing. If the waterfalls weren't there, we'd still be making hydropower. The power of the river itself is how we make hydropower. As it flows this way toward the falls, there are big tunnels upriver, above the falls, two on the U.S. side and two on the Canadian side. 
and they take water out of the upper Niagara, carry it out to the reservoirs under the cities of Niagara Falls, New York, or Niagara Falls, Ontario, out to the reservoirs. It's held in a reservoir, thrown out from the bottom, and that forces turbines to spin, and that's how we make hydropower. And then that water that's borrowed from the upper Niagara is returned down to the lower Niagara. That also helps control erosion, because we don't want to lose the waterfalls, obviously. So the movie doors are going to open. If you're not in my group, everybody's going to go into the movie. All right? So we're going to the Cave of the Wind. So many seagulls. This is the Cave of the Wind. We're approaching. The name Cave of the Winds is a bit deceiving. In the 1800s there was a rock overhang or a cave-like structure that allowed people to stand under the falls. The cave collapsed in the early 1900s but the name stuck. The Cave of the Winds trip takes you closer to the waters of Niagara Falls than you thought possible. You ride an elevator 175 feet 53 meters deep into the Niagara Gorge. Oh. <laughs> The Cave of the Winds was a natural cave behind Bridal Veil vale Falls at the Niagara Falls. The cave was some 130 feet 40 m high, 100 feet wide and 30 feet in depth. It was discovered in 1834 and originally dubbed Elysis Cave, after the Greek god of winds. One of the best experiences of Niagara Falls. You can't get any closer to the falls than this. You not only get the strong and cool mist from the falls, but at a few points in the whole path you can actually touch the water from the falls as it makes its way to the bottom. You also get very close to the Bridal Veil vale Falls and get to experience the water almost directly. If you like being around water you will really love this. Take as much time as you want for this one and go slowly and enjoy every bit of the experience. This end my video guys thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel RG Calvo PH.